are ready to race for a fantastic new season of WSK competition. Rashi to the left of your screen. And for the first time in the new year, we race. Alder Handy, perfect start, leads down into turn one. They fight for position. It is all off in second for a Paralene Motorsport 1 2. Keep Nakamura Berta into third place. The English born Japanese driver ahead of the English driver who started on the front row. Harley Keeble runs wide. Harley runs off the road from second on the grid. He's back into fifth place. Carnage at the hairpin has claimed at least one of the Kart Republics and possibly one of the RS competition cards. It looks to be Jonathan Vavart as Rashid leads the way. Paralin one and two. Kim Nakamura Berta, new signing for Forza Racing, is in third place. Is Dion Gowda Antonio Apicella involved in that incident? We'll get back to that in a moment. So it's Rashid from Maxim Olaf, Kim Nakamura Berta. Pop off, Wisniewski, Keeble back to six from Skog Namilio, Dimitri Mafiv, Slater, Smith, and Powell. Maxim Olaf, not long out of the 60 mini category. What can he do on debut for the Paralympic team in WSK competition in the OK Junior class? Well, firstly, he has to get back second place. Keen goes by. Also not long out of the 60 mini category. Rashid with a bit more experience and a bit more speed. Also at the early stage of the race, we're looking for Keeble. He's in fifth, starting to recover as he goes by Gustav Wisniewski. But the pole wants it back. Olaf does take back second place. Nicely done by the Russian. Rashid will skip away as they fight amongst themselves. Position four is Maximilian Popov. Welcome back to the Russian son of a top gun. He's in P4. His father, Alex, watching from their home in Sochi. His boy's in fourth place. The Russian for Ward Racing looks good as well on his return to WSK International Competition. First time back in a long time for Maximilian. He looks really racy. He's in fourth place and he's starting to leave the rest of the field behind. There is Harley. He's in P5, but he's got a freight train breathing down his neck, including Wisniewski, Matviv, Skognamilio, Smith, Slater, Fajera, Paul Deligny, DiPaolo and James Agotzi. Rashid skips away. Keen in second place just from Olaf. And pop off. There's Keeble in fifth place, driving the wheels off the Tony Cut. He runs off the road. Fortunately, no one was close enough to capitalize, trying to drag himself into this battle. His prediction, he told us, at the moment, this early stage of the race, he's proving to be correct. Rashid is walking away. Eight tenths of a second last time round. Keen skips through. Breaks clear of the battle between the two Russians. And Harley Keeble behind in position five. He's caught back up. He comes, Keepsy. Onto the back of Popov in a very similar Tony cut. He's got good speed as Popov goes down the inside. That's Maximilian from Max. Popov has to defend from all off. Watch Keeble. He'll take none of this nonsense. He'll just make one almighty send and try and dispatch both Russians in one move. Down the inside, Olaf does defend still. Another Russian is coming. That is Dmitry Matviev. The Siberian in 376. He looks quick. Can he make the move down on Harley Keeble? Fortunately for the English driver, too far back. That would have virtually been the end of any chance of Harley Keeble taking the race win. Had he have lost a place then? And in turn, the momentum. Freddie Slater's coming as well. 327 for the five times world champions. Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Don't discount fast Freddie. Carving his way up through the field. We've got three British drivers inside the top 10, but it's the boy from the Emirates, Rashid, with one second over King Nakamura Berta. Maciej Gladic is out, as is Dion Gouda and Antonio Apicella. 
Cart starting to litter the circuit as Orloff has to defend. Harley will be frustrated, gets a run, watch him into the hairpin. He will just send it down the inside, but Orloff closes the door, not enough. Keeble looks behind, still can't take the place. The English drivers, will they work together? Maxim Orloff is in danger of being sent here. Keeble down, gets the toe behind the parallel down the inside again, Orloff goes defensive. He can't defend for the remaining 10 laps of the race. Keeble down the inside, this time does take the place. Orloff loses time. Maximilian Popov has skipped away. And Fast Freddy goes through and takes Orloff as well. Slater slides down the inside. Nice move by Freddy Slater for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Keeble, has he got time? We'll check the times. He's three seconds behind Rashid. And as Kid Nakamura Berta sets the fastest middle sector of the entire race. It is just nine tenths of a second between Alda Heri coming onto your screen now in the Forza Racing X3 of Kim Nakamura Berta. Looks over his shoulder to Maximilian Popov. Then it's Keebsy, Slater, Olaf, Matviev, Vizniewski, Sonny from Southampton, Smith, Scott, Namilio in position 10. Approaching half race distance, it's not over yet. Keen will not let Rashid go away with this. And Popov just brilliant so far in the first half of this final as he has been all week in the Ward Racing Tony Car 301. Powered by the Vortex, of course, started on the second row of the grid. He's in third place. And Kim Nakamura Berta, 50.5. He's the fastest driver on the circuit. He's gone purple. There's Slater still fighting with Orloff, so the Russian's still not out of it. But he's got his countryman, Dmitry Matviev, from Novosibirsk in the north of Siberia, where the snow is still knee-deep and the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius less than it is here today in the north of Italy. Olaf responds. There's the Siberian, there's Matviev in the Cut Republic behind as well. Keeps he now with a 50.4, two tenths of a second faster than Rashid. Has Harley got time? Is Rashid controlling the pace? The gap, eight tenths of a second between Aldeheri and Kim Nakamura Berta. All off from Slater. Fight a Russian at your own risk. And the reigning junior world champion is finding that out now. Here comes Keeble. He's caught up to the back of Popov for the final podium position. Seven laps now remaining. Keeble's got the speed. Popov cannot defend, just drives down the inside. Keeps, he goes through and takes Maximilian. The Ward Racing driver just slides on the exit as he gives it absolutely everything on his return to WSK competition. Olaf touches wheels with Slater behind his Matvi Gustav Wisniewski. Still the top pole after his countryman, his teammate. In the other all and Sauber has retired. That's Maciej Gladic. Out on the opening lap, unfortunately. Keen goes through. There is Harley in third. Maximilian and Max Popov. The Russians four and five. Rashi, the gap was eight tenths. It's down to seven tenths, one tenth of a second. He'll catch him if he continues that. There's still six laps to go. The rest of the field go by. Scott Emilio, Powell, Trentin, Kutzkoff, Krapin, Jonathan, Maxons for Bruce, Darius Babuana, the Romanian, head of De Paolo, Eichmanns, Borda, Budza, Turbo, Matteo Spiegel, and Harry Boygoin, the Scotsman for Giddix Driver Academy, on debut in WSK competition, the final driver. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, the temperature is up to 14 degrees. The track has rubber painted on it, courtesy of not only 337 drivers here this weekend, but also the first edition of the Adria Rally Show, which took place here at the famous North Italian circuit last week. WRC cars in attendance, a stage on, yes, this, the Adria Karting Raceway, it was spectacular. And they painted rubber all over the circuit, which has stayed no rain and made the track incredibly grippy, particularly when you consider it is still 
winter time here in the Northern Hemisphere. Eight tenths of a second between Rashid and Keane. There's Keeble. It looks as though he will run out of time. It's two seconds between Ken Nakamura Bertha and Harley Keeble. Rashid goes by. There's Keepsy in P3. Maximilian, Max all off, and Dmitry Matviev. So the Russians, four, five, and six. And Fast Freddy behind in seven. Keeble with another purple sector, but he'll run out of time, you would think. There's Visniewski with Sonny Smith, the Sauber Cart Republics. On the back of the reigning junior world champion, Freddie Slater, 327 for Ricky Flynn Motorsports. Good drive from James Agotzi. You've got a glimpse at the bottom of your screen. The American from Florida in 11th place, one place outside the top 10 starting the year in his home country in the Florida Winter Tour. As three laps now remain, just on four kilometers of racing. Now the gap goes out to one second between Rashid and Keane. So the Asian drivers first and second, the English boy Harley in third. It's looking good for the WSK Euro Series Supermaster Series champion. Indy has gone by in the 355 Paralin. His driver, coach, mentor, manager, Fausto Ippoliti, ex Formula 3000 driver of note, himself a top former racer. He's coached Rashid for the past couple of seasons. His protege is looking good to take the first international title of the new season. Two laps now for Rashid. There's Visniewski and Smith. Slater behind. Two laps remaining. It's 1.1 seconds. Aldehedi on his way to victory. His father Ali watching not from their home nation, their home city of Abu Dhabi, but from his home in Beijing, China. Rashid from Abu Dhabi, which hosted the last round of the Asian Le Mans Asian F3 Championship yesterday. boy from the Emirates in the Paralin, the cart manufactured not 100 kilometers from this circuit in the north of Italy. He'll get the last lap for this time. Kim Nakamura Bertha, the Forza Racing Cup. There's Gibbsy. There's Maximilian. Max Popov. Max Olof and Dmitry Mafiev. Last lap for the Emirati. 1.1 seconds. Kim will not catch him. Rashid al Dehedi, dare I say now. On the last lap, he will win. He will win the WSK Champions Cup to start 2021. A rare talent from the Middle East for the Paralin Motorsport on his way to victory. Kim Nakamura Berta in second place for Forza Racing and Keeble from grid two back to sixth off the start in third place from the three Russians into the hairpin for the final time a perfect drive goes down through the chicane looks over his shoulder 2021 gets underway with a victory to rashid alderheady wins it in the paralin motorsport car 355 Kim Nakamura Berta on debut for the Forza Racing Team. Comes home on the podium in second. Keeps EP3 with a 50.293. The fastest lap of the race on his final tour of the Adria Circuit. Harley Keeble will be disappointed, yet satisfied with the drive. Disappointed not to have taken the victory.